All right, welcome everybody. And welcome to the seagulls. They're going to be circling. Be careful of your cupcakes. Welcome to Midland High School and our annual celebration uh, for our chemics at the college level. Uh, we, quick background, some schools choose to do a celebration like this during a formal NCAA signing day uh, in their windows of opportunity in uh, November or February and depending on the sport later in the year. We choose to do one at the end of the year. Uh, one, we have found that a number of our athletes make late commitments and so uh, they don't fit in that window and we would miss them if we did so. Uh, also, there are, uh, we want to celebrate those athletes who are Division Three or JUCO commits because those are just as important and, and, and frankly we find uh, we want to celebrate them too. And there's not a formal signing day opportunity for them. So we want one big celebration. If you haven't yet seen, you, you probably have, near our uh, weight room we have a sign that says Chemics at the College Level. A good problem to have is we've run out of room. And so as, as uh, athletes graduate from college and move on, we take them out. But we have uh, only 48 spaces and uh, we've decided to add more spaces. So. I, I guarantee you, you're going to find your name on that wall uh, sometime uh, when you return for the fall or winter seasons. Uh, in a moment, our coaches are going to say all kinds of nice things about you and, and celebrate your achievements. They're going to hand you a Chemic uh, Challenge coin. And on that coin, it says, once a Chemic, always a Chemic. Two things I want you to think about. One, don't ever forget where you came from. Don't ever forget when you, where you came from, right? Uh, that doesn't mean just been in high school, but you didn't get here by yourself. There are all kinds of people who are here to support you today that are uh, big parts of where you got to. And so my first challenge to you is instead of a blank uh, thank you tweet or Instagram or something like that, send something personal. Personal phone call, even a text message. How about you show up at grandma's door because she brought you to practice every Tuesday you know, when you were little, something like that. So say, say a, a appreciative word to somebody in a very personal fashion. The second one is, you're always welcome home. You're always welcome back at Midland High School. And I hope that you, you hold this uh, close to you and say, yep, I always remember my time being a chemic uh, and that helped me get to where I was. So uh, before uh, I would make one more reminder, at the conclusion of all of our coach speech, we're gonna have a group photo over there behind the backdrop as long as it stays upright. Thank you, Mr. Sloop, for guarding that for us. So uh, first up, Rodrigo Barassi. Thank you, Mr. Albright, parents, teachers, athletes, students. Um, Paige Freed, it's my privilege and honor to talk about Paige. Paige has been our team captain this year as a senior, four-year starter as a freshman. Sophomore year, she could not play. She had an injury, uh, but came back as a junior. Okay. Now, Paige has been involved with her passion of helping others, volunteering with the Miracle Field, assisting special needs individuals. She also has been a buddy with the unified game in basketball here at Midland High School. Paige has played soccer since her age of four, has played for the Midland Fusion Club for 10 years. She's very, very active in school endeavors, such as blood drive, and she's a member of the National Honor Society. She also has been on the all-academic team with Saginaw Valley League and all of state academics. This coming fall, she will continue her academic and college career at Delta College in the women's soccer team while pursuing a degree in special education. Paige, congratulations. Tweet family, congratulations. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my, my name is Matt Starling, and I am the softball coach, and I have four honorees uh, today, so the uh, softball is well represented this year, so fantastic. Uh, our first honoree is Morgan Stewart. Uh, Morgan has been part of the softball program for three seasons at Midland High. Uh, she has been a member of the volleyball program at Midland High, uh, National Honor Society, and uh, Morgan is uh, was a second team all-league pick, all-academic pick last season, and certainly Soon we'll add to that uh, those credentials uh, this season, and is off to a great year. Morgan's a catcher, 
third baseman, outfielder, wherever probably uh, Lansing wants to uh, use her. Morgan is headed to Lansing Community College to play in their very competitive softball program and pursue a degree in nursing. Congratulations, Morgan. Our second honoree is Claire Klein. Claire is a four-year member of our softball program and is a, uh, Claire has been involved in cross country, yearbook, National Honor Society at Midland High, and uh, numerous things outside of school. Uh, Claire is one of the most uh, well thought of members of our school community for sure. Uh, the, uh, Claire is headed to Delta College to play softball and then plans to head to CMU to pursue a degree in athletic training. Uh, congratulations, Claire. Uh, our third honoree is Morgan Williams. Morgan's been a uh, member of the varsity softball team for four years. Uh, I frankly don't remember coaching uh, Morgan or a couple of them. It's been a long time. Uh, Morgan is a four-year, three-sport athlete at Miller High School, uh, involved in uh, with volleyball and basketball, uh, also a member of the National Honors Society and numerous other uh, school ventures and out-of-school ventures, uh, very active in the community. Uh, we know that all of us were cheated out of a year to watch Morgan perform in volleyball, basketball, and softball this year, but she is healing up and is ready to, uh, getting ready to resume her uh, athletic excellence and come back and uh, head to Wayne State next season and will pursue a degree in chemical engineering. So congratulations Morgan and go Warriors. And our last honoree is Grace Schlup. Grace is a four-year member of the softball program, also a four-year member of the volleyball program at Dublin High. A, uh, member of the National Honor Society, and uh, uh, the uh, Graces uh, headed to Saginaw Valley State University uh, after she's done rewriting the record book here at Middle High. She's got a few weeks left of that. So, uh, Grace, congratulations, and go Cardinals. And next up, I'm Greg Wilcox, I'm the varsity swim coach for uh, the boys this year. Trent Schmidt has a, been a four-year varsity swimmer. He is now currently have five records on the record board. Uh, four of them he broke this year. He's an all-around swimmer. He can pretty much swim whatever I want him to, and he can, uh, he's going to do great things in Alma. Um, he is also a National Honor Society member, and he swims for the Dolphins. But he's going to do well in Alma. Uh, expect great things from him, so good luck. Hi, I'm here to talk about Kira Banks. She's going to CMU to Palm there. Um, as a Palm coach for the past 15 years, I've worked with many young individuals. No two are alike, and every season brings new team dynamics, new adventures, and new challenges. In my experience, if my experience has taught me anything, it has taught me that having the ultimate, well-rounded, dedicated athlete is rare. Too often, you'll have an outstanding participant, but they can't seem to get along with all their teammates. Or there'll be a student who outperforms everyone, however, they are constantly missing practice. Seldom do you come across an individual who is respectful to their coach, gives 100% all the time, who's a good role model, and who, when you tell them they need to jump higher, they don't give excuses, they just say, okay, coach. Even though, I've had the even though I've only had the pleasure of coaching Kira for the past year on the varsity pop team, I can tell you that she is one of these extraordinary individuals. She is a remarkable athlete and student and an overall good person. She never gives up and is constantly looking to do more and to do it better. Kira's commitment to POM is not a recent development. She has been involved in the sport for a total of seven years, spanning her time in high school and middle school. This endearing dedication is a testament to her passion and love for performing. Her active participation in various leadership roles, such as student council, student leadership, Midland County Youth Leadership, and NHS, further 
demonstrates her ability to balance multiple responsibilities. As her coach, I've had the privilege of witnessing her exceptional character and leadership skills firsthand, and she is not someone I will soon forget. She is hardworking, dedicated, driven, and a natural leader. Kira, I can't wait to watch you light up the performance floor next year. The CMU Palm team doesn't even know how lucky they are to have you. I'll be cheering from you in the stands. Palm your heart out. Good luck. I'm confused. Are we supposed to be here? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, I'm here to represent and talk about Merrick Hockey, who I've had the pleasure to know for over four years. Uh, I started coaching Merrick right before freshman season, and uh, without question, he came in to the track and field program already a varsity athlete. Um, he's got two letters from wrestling, three from football, broke the freshman shot and discus records, the sophomore shot and discus records, the junior shot and discus records, and we got two and a half more weeks, so school records obviously are next. Um, without question, uh, I think the primary characteristic I'd have to uh, kind of recognize with Merrick is work ethic. Uh, I came in at 6 in the morning to work with him. He stays until 8 at night. He practices by himself. He analyzes video. He coaches other athletes. He's amazing. Michigan State's getting a good one. Certainly not least. Uh, I'm Andrew Blue, coach of the, the boys cross country and track and field teams. Um, uh, I'm here to talk about Grace Riddle. He'll be attending uh, Michigan Tech next year. She's been a, uh, a four year varsity contributor to, to both cross country and track and field. Um, she, she's had, she's a multi time all SVL performer and academic performer. Um, we've had you know, a lot of transition in, in our girls program the last few years, and she's handled all of that with grace and patience and, and leadership. Um, she's the model athlete. She shows up every time she's supposed to. She shows up when she's not supposed to. Um, she's put all the time in, the work in, um, and it's paying off uh, with a, a transition to Michigan Tech where she'll be studying uh, computer science. Um, Michigan Tech is lucky to have you, and excited to see what you do next. So congratulations. Thank you, coaches. Um, one thing I neglected to do beforehand was get an individual photo at each of your tables. And so before we have a group photo, I'm gonna be uh, circling around getting an individual photo of you. And uh, athletes, you can have whomever you want in your photo with you. You want your family, your brother, just you, that's up to you, okay? So when I'm done with that, uh, we're gonna go over there and have a, have a group photo. And if, um, we have uh, four chairs, so uh, Merrick through Wayne State, you guys are uh, going to bring your chair with you, okay? Excellent. And you can stay here as long as you want. Uh, cupcakes and uh, cookies galore. So anyway, thank you and welcome. <laughs>